Hey guys, this is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are making chocolate sheet cake. It is so soft, so moist, and intensely chocolatey. It makes for a perfect birthday cake, and it is very easy peasy to make. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. So I've got around three cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of baking soda, three fourths. Teaspoons of salt and half a cup of cocoa powder. Two to three cups of granulated sugar. I'm gonna sift all these ingredients into my mixing bowl and then I'm gonna mix it up thoroughly with the help of the whisk till all the ingredients are pretty evenly distributed throughout the flour. For my wet ingredients, I've got around one cup of buttermilk to which I'm gonna be adding in around half a cup of sour cream, three fourth cups of vegetable oil, one and a half cup of strong hot coffee, three large eggs. So I'm gonna mix all these ingredients thoroughly till they are well combined, and these eggs are broken and combined with this mixture. And then I'm gonna be pouring my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients, and I'm gonna mix it thoroughly with the help of the whisk till all the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Take care not to over mix all these ingredients; just mix it until combined, or else you will end up with a dense cake. So once I'm done mixing all my dry and wet ingredients, I'm gonna carefully pour all my chocolate cake batter into my baking tin. That is nine by thirteen inch baking tin, which I have greased with some butter and lined with some parchment paper. This cake batter is too runny. I'm gonna bake my cake at three fifty degrees Fahrenheit for about fifty minutes or till the center is set. So give it a spring and make sure that it is not under baked or else the cake will collapse. My cake is ready and out of the oven. While my cake cools, I'm going to prepare my buttercream frosting. Here I've got around 1 and 1/2 cup of softened unsalted butter. I'm going to beat up this butter. Feel free to scrape the bowl as needed. And then I'm going to beat this butter till it is pale and fluffy. So now I'm going to be adding in around 1 cup of powdered sugar and 1/2 a cup of cocoa powder to this butter and I'm going to beat it up further. I have sifted the cocoa powder and the powdered sugar. Sifting it will help of to get rid of lumps if any. So finally my chocolate buttercream frosting is ready and finally it is time to frost my cake. I'm going to be adding very generous dollops of chocolate buttercream frosting on top of my sheet cake. And I like to add a lot of frosting cuz this is the only frosting on the cake and it is not a layered cake. So you will get a bit of cake and a little bit of frosting in every bite. Now I will use my offset spatula to work out the frosting around and to create swirl patterns and designs on top of my cake. So once I'm done frosting, I'll be topping this cake with some sprinkles and this will make my cake look pretty. And now finally it is time for the most weighted part and that is the taste test. First I will cut my cake into slices. This cake is so delicate and so fluffy. I have to be very gentle while cutting the cake. This cake is so chocolatey. It lo it's loaded with so much of chocolate. So for those of you who are new to my channel and are visiting here for the very first time, we make a lot of delicious things here. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification to get notified whenever I post my new videos. And I will see you into my next video. Till then, bye bye.